<coughs> right, welcome to what I'm calling the internet page. Things that do my head in on the internet that I feel the need to get angry about. I'm gonna kick it off. Jamie Carragher getting goaded whilst driving a car and deciding the best possible course of action to get back at the fella is to spit at him and then accidentally get someone, his 14 year old daughter. What are you doing, Jamie? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? doing in what world is that a reaction to that mate mate the lad's probably driving a fucking kia picanto and you're in a range rover just go mate just go just pull in front of him just go look in no way shape or form is jamie carragher's reaction a, a, a good proper or acceptable reaction to that situation now don't get me wrong it's a damn sight better than what i suspect he wanted to do which is pull over and smash the man's face in spitting reprehensible, disgusting, scumbag behaviour. So, listen, no defending what Jamie Carragher's done in any way, shape or form there. But can we just talk about Big Daddy Dickhead for a second? Big Daddy Dickhead filming while he's driving his car with his 14-year-old daughter in the passenger seat and listening to the fucking fray. <laughs> The Frey. Look at the video, he's listening to The Frey. He is. I had to Google that, by the way. The fucking Frey. Remember them? No. The sheer embarrassment in the voice of his daughter makes my skin crawl. It's the thing I find most upsetting about the whole thing. Poor girl. Oh my God, imagine having to deal with 14 years of that knobhead as your dad. 14 years of having him singing in the shower. Clapping when planes land, shaving his back when your mates have come round and sending uh, slightly two stage videos in to you've been framed. What a fucking beauty is. And I'm sorry, where's the interview with her? Where's the daughter's reaction to this? What's her take on this? Because I'm telling you right now, although it would be stage managed to death if they actually did that interview on television now. Oh, heartbroken. Oh, I've got a bit of spittle on my face. There is no way that she blamed Jamie Carragher for her having spit on her face more than she blamed her dad. I'm sorry, it's simply not the case. I'm like, if I walk down the street and I turn around to some random person and I start basically trying to wind him up and he spits at me and he accidentally gets spit on one of my kids, my kids aren't turning around and going, what are you doing spitting on me? They're going, dad, why are you trying to wind a random person up on the street? You fucking idiot. I mean... Granted, he's five, so he probably wouldn't use the F-bomb. But if he was 14, absolutely. He was like a fucking pig in shit when he realised he's got that on video. So much so that he doesn't know if he's necessarily got it on video, that he has to spell it out. Has to do the little comedy. Oh, Jamie Carragher's got spit on me 14-year-old daughter's face. For those of you in the media who wish to use this video in future, just in case I didn't quite capture it, that is the story of what's happened. It's literally exactly how the end of the video goes. Like a pig in shit. Oh, there's 50 quid from the mirror coming my way. Oh, that I can spend on probably fray concert tickets that I'll drag me fucking poor, gutted, spit-covered, embarrassed as fuck daughter along to because... And don't even get me started on the media reaction to this. Now... Great to see some people come out in defence of Carragher because, let's be honest, it's not just because he's a good pundit, and he is a good pundit, and there are people defending him just because he's a good pundit, because, let's be honest, punditry of the whole is shite, and I'd rather have someone who occasionally spits on 14-year-old girls than more Alan Smith or Andy Townsend. But also because, hey, listen, he's got a pretty decent track record of being a nice guy as well, humanitarian work, setting up charities, doing good things and being a good fella, and the people who do like him are naturally going to come to his defence. But it's the people on the flip side. The Guardian saying it was the death of the beautiful game. Vinnie Jones calling for him to be sacked. Vinnie Jones. You remember Vinnie Jones? You probably don't. Vinnie Jones played for Wimbledon. Massive bellend. Massive violent thug. And he was in the shittest X-Men film as well. Go and eat a shit, Vinnie Jones. Go and eat a shit. You're a fucking moron. Get back in your cave. Although he was really good in Lockstock. It's a good film. So listen... Jamie Carragher's done a fucking stupid thing, and you know what? He's apologised for it. And you know what? Sky are absolutely right to suspend him from his role on Monday Night Football and Sky Sports. Will they sack him? Maybe they will. You know what? Maybe they will because you know what? Sometimes moral outrage outdoes having a little think and taking a reasoned and measured response to stuff. But let's not fucking choke on the vomit of self righteousness here. Ugh. Fuck it. 
Who cares? Ultimately, you know what? The fella's lucky that he was in a car. Because like I say, Jamie Carragher probably would have put his fucking teeth down his throat if they were just walking along in the street if he'd been like that. So you know what? Great. Take your 50 quid from the mirror. Take your deeply scarred for life by your behaviour, embarrassed daughter. And fuck off with your 15 minutes of fame back to your little cave as well. And everyone else with your model the grand eyes. And honestly, how much of a slow news week is it when we get more news coverage of an ex-professional footballer spitting at someone in a car than we get on natural disasters and fucking school shootings in America. Pathetic. Have a word with yourselves.